Oh, hello there. Uh, so, time for a new YouTube update. Things have been going on. Um, in this new reality, I've been spending a lot of my time recently getting ready to teach online. My school, Sin Studio, has converted fully to running all of our classes through Zoom Studio. I decided to go and uh, spring for uh, an account myself. I used money from a festival that got canceled. I had a table at it. I took that and found a coupon code and paid for a year's subscription on Zoom. So I can teach with the school and I can also teach privately and I'll be using it with my Patreon. So I think I will be relatively fortunate in that respect in that there is a good potential for me to have work. I know for sure in the next few months I'll be teaching the next semester. And uh, I'm pretty hopeful about how that could go. I'm a bit concerned about my vulnerability to COVID. I'm 49 and I have several, well, two main comor 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 comorbidities uh, in China. People with hypertension and diabetes were the most common to die. And I'm on blood pressure meds and di type 2 diabetic. So, hey, yeah, I'm kind of shut in. I've got that. Any dry throat moment makes me a little bit paranoid. Hopefully I dodge it. Uh, or if I get it, I get the minor version and develop some degree of immunity to this. And then I won't be trapped for 18 months. But then on the whole... Uh, I'm betting on being trapped for a fair bit of time, potentially 18 months till there's a, a vaccine. I'm postponing my launch of Mind Engines, the anthology I'm working on. The first issue, Ignition Sequence, is going to be ready to be released in May, but most of the things that I was going to release it out are going to be cancelled, and if they're not, I can't really risk meeting out them anyway. So I'm going to put it off, add some more stuff. Um, if you're a patron on Patreon, you've been able to see and read, and check out the progress, and there'll be an interesting update soon. Um, I'm still grabbing my head around all the things that I need to do. Uh, the last few days have been enjoyably preoccupied by technical challenges, uh, good ones. I'm a bit of a nerd and went to computer camp in the early 80s and uh, have been adapting and figuring out how to run OBS uh, through Zoom so I can do a really full service as a teacher online. And I think I will try to do more regular uh, I'm just streaming directly through the YouTube website for the last little while but regular live streams and my drawings um, so if you're a YouTube subscriber uh, keep an eye out for that hit the notification bar I guess a lot more people are going to be around to see things so hopefully um, that's not a uh, too much of a not too many of you are hit by this in a, a horrible way but uh, perhaps I'll be seeing you around the internet more and, uh, yeah, that's what's going on here. How's it going with you? What you doing? How you doing? It's a lot, eh? I think I remember as a young kid, so 18, 19, something like that, uh, late 80s, I worked at Greenpeace as a fundraiser. And I was already, I was interested in the environment at a young age. It was, I grew up with the whole earth catalog laying around. I read about global warming in it in the 70s so um, I've been aware of all the things all the challenges that we face as a species on this planet in the near future and I think this is like you know you could probably point at a, a lot of them incrementally along the way but this is one of the first true global challenges post internet for sure but also I think on the list of things that combined with the comorbidity of climate change are going to become more common and they're going to change the faces of our society in ways that we're not going to be able to predict we will live in interesting times as my father used to joke and uh i think we're seeing some of the first steps of it uh, as an artist it's hard sometimes not to feel like what you do is maybe trivial but i think it's an important part of keeping sanity and offering ideas a lot of the work i've done uh in mind and just a big chunk of it is about exploring philosophical notions and broad ideas. And in uh, New Armageddon Blues, a comic that I've been working on as a science fiction project for literally decades is an idea I had a long time ago, but it's been evolving and mulling and mutating. And uh, it's set in a world that's very post what we're going through right now. 
Um, I don't think it's too post-apocalyptic or anything. I think it's hopeful that there is a, a world and it's productive and it has a direction and there are things going on, but it's chaotic and interesting. And anyway, spoilers, you'll have to read the book. Um, but anyway, all to say, I feel like I've seen this coming. Some people will say it's a surprise and they had no idea and you can't imagine putting your head around it. And yeah, to a degree that's true, but I've been imagining. I was listening and I think it was 2011 when, uh, I forget his name right now, but a famous pandemic uh, virologist expert started raising the alarm that this kind of thing exactly was going to happen. Um, and uh, here it is. So stay safe. I went to Burning Man in 1999. It was it had been a really interesting underground counterculture hippie art festival that I'd been curious about for a while, and it was starting to turn kind of posh, and I wanted to see it before it got totally into that, and I had some money and some time. So I joined a, a bunch of friends in a van ride from Windsor, Ontario, all the way across uh, the U.S., um, took days i can't remember how many but a lot i don't know we didn't we our friendships i think survived the trip but <laughs> it was intense and then we had a, a really wild time for the week at the festival out in the playa in the desert and um while i was there there was this sort of friendly slash survival reminder greeting that everyone used pee freely because you're in a desert, and if you're not peeing freely, you're not drinking enough water, and it's actually quite dangerous. So it was a friendly way to remind everyone to stay safe, pee freely. Uh, wash your hands. It's the new hello. Take care. Play safe. And um, I'm going to do Zoom group meetings uh, along with sort of live, live feeds here. If you're interested keep an eye on the channel and I'll figure out some way to notify you or join my Patreon and get notifications there uh, in your inbox along with my comics. And if you join Patreon, by the way, just to say, not too much of a sales pitch, uh, I, I mean, at the basic level you get to read hundreds and hundreds of pages of my comics. They're all available for download at Indie. And if you stick around long enough, I start sending you physical books in the mail uh, just sort of as an accumulated once you've pledged enough money. If you're, yeah, oops, you've earned it. Um, and then at slightly higher tiers, you can become a student patron for $10 a month or $5 a month. I'll draw your uh, social media profile picture. And that's a regular reoccurring thing, too. So not every month, mind you, probably once or twice a year. Um, and uh, yeah, it would be helpful for me. I think I'm going to be OK because the teaching work's holding out. But if I could make Patreon take off is the way people read my comics. It's like a subscription method. It'd be cool. I mentioned that I'm doing Mind Engine, that I'm going to postpone it. And, you know, if it takes 18 months for a, a, a vaccine for this COVID-19 to come along, well, then that's enough time for me to draw almost two more issues of Mind Engine. So it could work out in terms of sort of like an intensive retreat. <laughs> I'm used to social isolation anyway. You know, though, I think it's a bad social distancing. Not a good term. Um, it should be physical distancing or physical spacing. A friend of mine said physical spacing. I like that. So physically space and wash your hands. And take care.